Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today, guys, we're going to look at another legacy deck here on the Pokemon Training Card Game Online, and this is a legacy deck that I've kind of built, and maybe, you know what, I wanted to do something new. You know, I wanted to do a newer kind of legacy deck that, uh, you know, no one's really ever seen before, a legacy deck that is kind of unique, I guess. Um, it's taken the idea of using Vile Plume and Garbodor, but, you know, kind of expanding in, in some ways, this is my Mewtwo Vileplume Garbodor deck. It's it's a interesting deck to say the least. It's an idea that I've made up, and uh, you know what? I would have made a video on this a lot sooner, but Vileplume was really really bugged, where like it literally it locked out supporters as well as items. So, like Vileplume and Legacy was broken. It was getting abused. So that was up upsetting. I was gonna do the Noble Victories Triumphant tournaments they were doing, but like. There's a lot of Snorlax, Vileplume, and just, just gotta stay away from that. So anyways, guys, we're gonna look at this deck and uh, see what my thought process was while making it. You know what I mean? So we start things off with the main attacker. It's Mewtwo EX. I mean, Mewtwo's kind of the main guy of the deck. You're gonna use X-Ball, you're gonna use Side Drive, you're gonna take knockouts with these two, but you gotta have some support. And usually Mewtwo's played with Landorus and Garbodor, but why not play it with Vileplume and Garbodor? Now, we know... Garbodor has the ability Garbotoxin, where if it has a tool on it, it shuts down all abilities. That's pretty good, so you can shut down Electric, you can shut down Verizian, you can shut down Keldia, you can shut down all those abilities, boop, they're gone. Well, then you use it with Vileplume from Undaunted. Vileplume has a pokey body where it doesn't actually count as an abil ability, so basically, Garbodor doesn't stop Vileplume. It's not like standard where Garbodor stops the Vileplume in standard. Vileplume does not get stopped when you have Garbodor in play, which is pretty powerful. So we are going to be using Vileplume with Garbodor, and we're going to be pairing these two together. So basically, you want to get a Garbodor in play before your Vileplume, because if you get Garbodor in play after, you can't put a tool on it because your item locked. So the goal is to Garbodor and then get Vileplume in play. It's not that hard to pull off, so we're going to be focusing on that. So that's the combo. You just get Vileplume in play, you lock the items, and then you lock the abilities, and then you kind of just beat them down with a Mewtwo EX. Or the other attacker, like Tornadus. I went with one, two Tornadus. I found this a good backup attacker. If you are playing against Landris, you know, you just put Tornadus in play. Landris' hammerhead would only do 10 damage. And not to mention that Vileplume be in play, so they can't use any Verbank laser shenanigans. So your Landris, your Tornadus literally only takes 10 damage from a Landris EX. Seems pretty good. It's a pretty decent attacker. It's got, you know, 3 for 100. You might have to discard an energy, but we do play 8. Um, and then you got Blow Through, which, you know, does 60 if you have a Stadium in play. You can donk someone with this. Um, so, Tornadus is a pretty good card. And uh, we are going to be playing two of these. They're nice backup attackers to go with Mewtwo. We do play one Bouffalon in the deck, too. I went with Bouffalon because, you know what? Why not use Gold Breaker? If, you know, your opponent can't find a way to damage you, you can kind of just take them down with Gold Breaker. You're doing 120 damage. It's more damage than you're going to be doing with your Tornadus. And you can kind of just, you know, beat them down with a Bouffalon if they can't knock it out. Um, so, and also, it's like, oh, but, you know, its ability gets blocked off by Garbodor. Well, you yeah, know what? We actually do have something in here to kind of negate that in a way. So, we do play one of that. I also want the 1-1 one -one Hypno Mine. This is the weirdest thing, but I'm, I'm going to try this idea out. So, if you're in a position where you can use Sleep Pendulum. Now, Sleep Pendulum is a pokey power, so, you know what? It doesn't go through Garbodor. But also... It's not like the uh, Hypno from Standard or like Mana where you might put yourself to sleep. You don't. You can only put your opponent to sleep. So you basically just flip a coin if heads and you can maybe put your opponent's active Pokemon to sleep. This isn't bad because when you get the Garb and Vile Plume in play and they stay asleep, there's no way they can get out of that. They can't use, you know, they can't use Switch because Vile Plume's out. They can't use Keldeo because, you know, Garb doesn't play. The only thing they can do is just sit there and take a beating. And we're just going to try this out, you know what, if they can't get out of the sleep block, then we can kind of just take them out. It also can maybe save our Mewtwo, or our main attacker, from taking damage. So we're just going to try out this 1-1 Hypno line of the deck and see how it works. And uh, we also play one Smeargle, I mean this is pretty mandatory for Portrait. Um, it's just a good card to start with, get set up a little bit. We don't have Jirachi in this deck, you know, the problem with playing like Jirachis and Mr. Mime and stuff, cards that I would consider throwing in, just you fill up your bench too much with those things and your bench just gets way too full and too crowded it's like you got too much stuff going on in your bench it just i don't like having that i don't like being in a position where that happens so i just cut those cards from the deck i think smeargle is fine enough i mean you can just beat them down with mewtwo and tornadoes while you build stuff up anyways it's not like you really need those cards um but you know what if you want to run a mr mom if you want to throw in a jirachi go ahead but i just don't want to have such a i just don't want to have a crowded bench you know what i mean so i just i didn't have those cards 
Um, but those are all the Pokemon in the deck. We do play the two Oddish, the one Gloom, the two Trubbish. I guess we could talk about why I chose this Trubbish. Most people like to run the 70 HP Trubbish. I've decided to go with the 60 HP Trubbish with Garbage Collection. Um, this is a decent attack. Um, you know, you can Garbage Collection your opponent. And maybe if you play Hypno, you can force your opponent to stay asleep. Garbage Collection, to take a free card from your discard pile back into your deck and put on top and maybe you can like you know n or something it's just nice to get some interesting cards back right you know maybe you want to use some more energy and get back you get back an energy so i did go with this trubbish just so you know it's a good starter it does you know i get two shot of a you know landorus but whatever it's still fine plus you know what we're never going to need garbador if we're playing at landers anyways because most landers decks do play garbador so we'd only need the bio plume not the garbador so i went with that so those are all my pokemon now we can go into the items and supporters First item we got here is Computer Search. Basically, your standard A spec, it's very good. You Computer Search, you can probably just, you know, get the cards you need, you know, get the card you need to pull it off. Only two Junk Arms, again, with Bioplume, we don't want to run that many items, so I went with two Junk Arm in this deck. Junk Arm allows you to get back some stuff. You know what, maybe you can get back a Rare Candy if you discard it, and then get the Bioplume play. Uh, we got two level balls, great card to start with, you can level ball, and there's so many things in this deck that it can grab. You can grab Trubbish, you can grab Gloom, you can grab um, Smeargle, you can grab your Hypno, you can grab your Drowsy, you can grab your Oddish, it's all there. So we're going to be like two level balls. Three rare candy. I just like having these rare candies. I want to have more candies so that you can pull off the vile plume. So I went with three of them just so that we can maximize the potential of pulling off the vile plume as quick as possible. So I went with three rare candies. Three ultra balls for your searching. I didn't really think we needed any more. Uh, we got one Aspersia City Gym. If we ever want to use Tornadus or Buffalon, why not just give him more HP, make him a little more bulkier. I couldn't think of any other stadium to throw in here other than Tropical Beach and the other stadium I have. I don't have any Tropical Beach, man. They're just too expensive and I don't feel like trying to get them. So we don't have Tropical Beach, but you know, feel free to add in a few Tropical Beaches to this deck. One Pokemon Center. This is kind of my answer to Landorus. You know, the Landorus us, we just center and heal our Pokemon that way. So, you know what? I decided on Pokemon center as uh, this you know what it's a good way to kind of deal with landers i guess so uh, one chorus for draw support two end for draw support three juniper for draw support four pawn for draw support pawn is great in the stack for draw support it's the best shuffling card you got two skylas this is great in the early game you can skyla grab a flow grab your candy two of these is awesome to have because it's very important to play and we got two pokemon collector i like having this where if you can pull off a collector on your first turn you can get like a bunch of pokemon to play like you can do pokemon collector and then you just you know grab like an oddish you know, a Trubbish, and maybe like a Mewtwo, get them all in play in one turn, it's pretty sweet, so I went with two Pokemon Collectors, if you ever get to start with it, they're pretty pointless in the late game, but early game, they're amazing, three Float Stones, Float, we're obviously gonna need for our Garbodor, there's no other tools to play, like, I, you know, you could throw in Eviolet, you could throw in, you know, Silver Mirror, Silver Bangle, I don't know, but the reason I don't have any of those cards in this deck is because, well, when Vileplume gets in play, they're dead drawing. So you only need the float. You can even manipulate Floatstone, put on something, get for your tree, you know. It's like, oh, this takes damage, retreat it, center it, and then, yeah, so why not? Uh, we got four DCE. Everything that attacks this deck needs DCE. Eight Psychic. I went with eight because you're going to discard your Psychic Energy sometimes with Psy Drive and with Blow Through. So I went with eight Psychic Energy in this deck. Um, you know, funny enough, you can actually attack with Hypno in this deck and Drowsy. I mean, you're never going to want to do that, but... Uh, you know what, if you ever get the opportunity, there you go. So, this is my Mewtwo Vileplume Garbodor deck. It's a weird deck, I know, but you know what, it's a legacy deck nonetheless. And, uh, it's an idea that I don't think anyone's tried. I've seen, well, no, I think Yellswell had a deck that involved Garbodor and Vileplume, but that's not this deck. This is a different kind of deck. So, thanks for watching. And now, let's get in to the games and the battles, and let's see if we can have some fun in legacy. Let's find out. Okay, let's go find some legacy matches with our deck here, see what we can play against in Legacy. I don't know. Uh, okay, looks like we are playing against a water deck. It's most likely gonna be Blastoise with uh, probably the Metals Jirachi. This is the matchup I'm okay with. You know, we don't have Landers, so we don't gotta worry about the Keldew hitting for weakness. Uh, if we can Vile Pummel quick enough and get Blastoise in play, you know what? We shut down the Blastoise completely and they can't even get in play. If we do go first, which might allow us to pull it off. Let's see, what are we gonna get? Ooh, we got a pretty dud hand. I, you know, this hand would have been cool if we had a collector. But we don't. You know, starting with Trubbish kind of is the end of the world, but it kind of isn't. You know, we can still use its attack. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to go in. I got no choice. I gotta dig, man. I gotta find something. I gotta get something going here. Okay, that's fine. That's actually a decent hand. Hmm. Okay, we can do a lot with this. We can play down the Tornadus. We can play down Oddish. I think I'm just gonna... Mm, 
I, okay, I want to save the computer search for next turn, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Psychic Energy the Tornadus, so we can always float this guy. I do want to use Mewtwo, though, for the Keldeo, because it does more damage, because he's going to have more energy on him. Uh, if we play level ball now, I mean, we don't really need it. We can grab, like, another Trubat. We're not going to get knocked out, though, so we'll pass. Unless, like, this dude drops a Mewtwo in a DC, which we know he does not play Psychic. Trubbish won't go down. I'll hold on to the computer search, either to grab a Floatstone or to grab, like, a, you know, I don't know, something. And if we top deck float, we can, you know, level ball for Oddish, but I really need to get the Vile Plume. I think Garbodor is way more important right now, just so we get the lock, but we need to get the Vile Plume too, so we can't tool scrapper. Okay, we do top deck that. Alright, so I guess we'll do the level ball for the Gloom then. You know what, that's fine. Let's see what's in the deck. So, all of our Vile Plumes are in there. Alright, it's looking good. We can keep the computer search too. Um, so can we knock him out this turn? That's the question. So we'll play down the Gloom. We'll go for the Pont, and let's see, what are we going to find here? Okay, we can't get a knockout. Nice. So let's go retreat, my boy. And you know what? Let's just blow through. There's really no need to put the DCE on quite yet. You know what? Let's just go blow through. Hit him for 60. Now, even if he gets a Blast in play, I'm not too worried. We can definitely get Garb in play probably next turn. There's a Collector. I'd love to play that. If we can top deck either a Vile Plume or a Garbodor, I will definitely play Pokemon Collector. Um, if he somehow Tool Scrappers off that DC or the Float, I'm going to be a little upset. I'm not really worried about Blastoise, but he has to face Burn Tower, which I'm fine with. We can actually get energy back with uh, Power Blast, which is actually pretty helpful. Okay, there's a Mewtwo, so we can put that down. We might as well just keep Assault and then Blow Through. So let's go Pont. We need to find either Vile Plume or Garbodor. Let's see. Okay, we don't get the Vile Plume on the Garb. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Mewtwo, and I'll get rid of Psychic. He has the Burn Tower in play. And, uh, I think I'm just gonna grab Garb. You know, Vile Plume's important, but we might as well Garb him so he can't use Blastoise. You know, why not? And, uh, we'll go for the Burn Tower, I guess. See if we can get heads. We do. Nice. Save us an energy. I would have liked to have gotten Vile Plume down that turn, but uh, whatever. We got the Garb down, it's fine. Maybe we can get a Vile Plume or something off these prizes. Um, the reason I held on to the Collector, by the way, is because we're going to be in top deck mode, so we might as well do Collector and try and grab a few stuff. You know, we can thin out the deck a little bit. I'm probably going to grab another Tornadus. Um, but, I mean, if we can't do anything, we win the game. He's not going to be able to attack me, and yeah, you can see. So, you can see, obviously, we didn't get the Vile Plume down, but you can see the lock, how it goes. And that was a pretty, pretty decent game. And uh, we do actually get a daily challenge done. I forgot. I need to get, like, one more Psychic Evolution in play uh, to complete that. Okay, so this was just a Blastoise Kelio deck, but he got really unlucky. He did have Suicune, which could have actually been pretty bad. Um, so I'm kind of glad he didn't use Suicune. I guess, I mean, you had the Bufalon, but it only does 60 damage, which isn't a lot of damage. He's not going to one-shot it. Like, you can throw in Sigilith in this deck, but the problem with that is Garbodor is a priority. So let's go find another Legacy match for this deck, and uh, maybe we can pull off that cool lock. Let's find out. Let's find out. But yeah, got my daily challenge done. They actually just updated the the uh, kind of opening screen for PDCGO, and they showed you like, oh, Guardians Rising is coming out May 5th. So, I mean, pretty cool. Can't wait for Guardians Rising, man. That set is going to be insane. I can't wait for Tapu Koko. I'm going to be the first one making them Tapu Koko. It's probably going to be the first deck I make. I'm going to try and get as many Tapu Koko as I can. Looks like you're playing against Verzi and Genesect. I mean, I don't like playing against Verzi and Genesect. I, I mean, it's probably my least favorite legacy deck. And Okay, rip in the chat. We gotta get Vile Plume down before this dude gets a G Booster. That needs to happen ASAP. Let's see what do we get. Okay, we actually get a okay. We get an okay start. Um, hopefully we can find another supporter though. I don't want a collector. Like I might grab Smeargle, I guess. But you know what? It is what it is. We'll play down both Oddish and Trubbish in case we get N so that they're on our bench. Maybe it's not raising Genesect. Maybe I'm hallucinating. But I'm 100% sure it's going to be Verizon Genesect with Celebi. No, never mind. I was hallucinating. Okay, there you go. Um, he has Psychic Attackers, which, again, this is why you need the Tornadus. So, I mean, he's got a Grass Energy on. Hopefully, this isn't going to be, like, the last game where we kind of just be beat him down. Hopefully, he can actually, like, do stuff. Like, I want to have this game play out, man. Is Hypno in the deck? Okay, it is. I guess we grab these three. We could grab another Mewtwo, I guess. Nah. We'll just stick with these three guys. I'm tempted to just retreat into the portrait. Ah, he didn't play a supporter, though. There's no way he's going to have a supporter in his hand. So. Yeah, might as well attach. What does this thing even do? Okay, nothing. 
Uh, yeah, I guess we'll pass for now. Got nothing else I can do with this hand. I mean, kind of dead. I mean, hopefully this dude can actually, you know, make this game, you know, fun. Because, you know, he's using, like, little baby Pokemon. He does have Espeon again. The Psychic is actually going to be pretty nerve-wracking. Uh, he can actually hit quite a few things for weakness. Like, the Drowsy, the Trubbish. I mean, he could actually take a prize this turn. If we don't have an energy, we're in trouble. But no, he goes for first contact, so it looks like he didn't have the second energy, I guess. Hopefully, though, this dude can maybe put down some big threats. Like, I actually want this game to play out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Some Mufalon. Finally, something that actually makes me nervous. As weird as that is to say. Uh, now, the game's actually glitched right now where you can junk arm for supporters. I'm not going to do that because that's actually, that's obviously not what you're supposed to do. So, we're not going to bother with that. I think I'm just going to get rid of the junk arm and the Pokemon Center. And I think I'm just going to grab... I'm going to grab the... No, I'll grab Hypno, actually. Oh, we can buy some time. We can grab Gloom. I mean, maybe this is where Jirachi comes in. But we have so many supporters. Like, we have Polaris, all of our Ponts. Um, looks like an energy surprise. Yeah, I think we'll just grab Hypno. Maybe try and stall him a little bit. That Espeon could start getting annoying. Maybe we can buy some time here with Sleep Pendulum. Nope. Okay, we gotta draw into something soon, though. Because, I mean, we're in trouble from that. We do have the Smear Goal, but, I mean, if he, he had a supporter, he would have played it by now. So it's gonna be rip. I mean, I'm asking for this game to play it a little bit, and it looks like that's happening, but not in the way I wanted it to. But you never know, man. We can always make some kind of play, but again, we're kind of in a slow start right now. All we really have is Sleep Pendulum. He's actually retreating into the Woobat. What does this do? Search deck for two. Oh. Okay, but he got Tails. Okay, thank God. It's not... Oh, there we go, folks. We top decked the God Tier card. Let's go Sleep Pendulum. See if we can put him to sleep. Nope. Okay, rip. All right, we'll go with Professor the uh, Professor Oak's new theory. And okay, there's Garb. Hmm. Okay, we can. Are we gonna knock him out with a D. No, we're only doing sixty. No way. No, we are knocking him out. Yeah. What am I saying? We'll take a knock out here. We'll put down the Garb. I want to hold on to this hand though, so I'm not gonna Ultra Ball quite yet. I need to play the Skylight next turn. So we'll take a knock it on his Swoobat. We'll take a free prize here. Let's see what are we gonna get. Skyla, all right, next turn I can't ultra ball, I'll probably just grab the Gloom. If we get the Vile Plume play, we're going to be in a really good spot, because we already got the Garbodor down. And he can't even have Boofer. He could attack with Espeon here, but he can't knock out anything anymore. He can't take a knock out on Drowsy or anything. So there's a Psychic Energy, and we're going to get hit with Shadow Ball. In hand I knew he was going to do that. See, that's why I held on to that Ultra Ball. I saw that coming from a mile away. I saw that coming from a mile away, dude. I always know my opponent plays hammers. He doesn't play loss remover, which is good. He's hitting the garb. Okay. What are we going to get? Oh, another garb. Lovely. All right, let's go sleep pendulum. Okay, we finally get heads here. Unfortunately, X-Ball is actually not knocking him out. Uh, we got it. We're going to have to go X-Ball. We can't really do anything else. So. We'll go Skyla. We'll grab ourselves a Professor Juniper. And we'll have to hope he stays asleep here. Uh, I'll just get rid of... If he knocks me out, we can top deck Trubbish, I guess. I don't know. We'll get rid of the Bouflon and the Skyla. And we'll grab ourselves Gloom. Can't really do Vile Plume. I mean, we could have, but I'd rather have a Rejuniper for next turn. So yeah, we're not going to knock him out here, I don't think. We're only doing... No, we are. Never mind. We're doing 120. What am I saying? We're doing 120 damage. I thought... Okay, I thought the math was wrong for us. I thought we were really doing 80 for some reason. But we're taking out this Espeon before he can take me out. Uh, there's another Mewtwo. Gotta discard it, though, unfortunately, unless I can top deck like an N or something. I'll probably discard it, whatever. It is it is what it is. Uh, he probably bring out Rouse. He's probably gonna... Oh, no, he's not. Okay, I thought he was gonna bring out Rouse, maybe try and stall some time with uh, Psybeam. But whatever, you know what? Teach his own. And no, he can see. So, it's got another little of a beatdown game. He was able to actually attack me, though, and we actually got some nice coins. Uh, so yeah, I guess, was, yeah, this is one of the, yeah, he was probably new to Legacy, probably didn't have any Legacy cards to use, which is fine, but you know what, we're giving them beatdowns with my boy Mewtwo, can we find another game though, and will we get a good match, let's find out, as long as it ain't Virizion Genesect, that deck is a no -no. I don't like that deck at all, I don't like, to me, Virizion Genesect is my least favorite deck to play against in Legacy, because it's super annoying, and it's super just, I don't know, yeah, I just, I never can beat those decks. I just don't like playing against Rizzy Gen 6, so can we not play against it? It's forcing me to probably have to make a Reshiram Typhlosion video down the road in Legacy. 
you know what, I was going to do a Retro Explosion video a while ago, but I never did it. But I'm probably going to do one soon, just because it's going to be satisfying to beat those Frenzy Gen Set decks. But we are playing against maybe Ray Eels. I didn't see Lightning, but the Water could be Kaleo, Sega could be Mewtwo, and the Dragon is obviously Rayquaza. We'll find out though. Could also... Nah, I don't think it's anything. Alright, we'll go Tails on the coin flip. And we want it. Perfect. Alright, so perfect starter here would be my boy Smirgle. And we get a Collector and a Juniper off that. Oh! <laughs> kind of good. We do have to get rid of a Vile Plume. Unless my opponent has anything. Oh, we gotta lose some energy, though. Hmm. Maybe my opponent's got a Pokemon Collector in their hand. We can actually use it. Because I really do want a Collector and just uh, get another attacker. I don't really want to burn two energy. I mean, you know, I could put a DC on this. Go for Tail Wrap. As weird as that would be, it would do nothing. Because it, you know. Two energy. Yeah, at least make that flip three coins. That's kind of unfair. It doesn't really do too much. But I don't know what we're playing against, though, guys. Uh, I can't really tell. I'm guessing it's Ray Eels. If it is, then uh, it's good for us. But if it's not, rip my boy in the chat. But yeah, we'll find out, though. I know he has Dragon. It could. I mean, it's anything, really. But my. Oh, no. It could be Blastoise Keldeo because. Black. Yeah, it could be Blastoise Keldeo with Black Kyrum. Might actually be that. Nope. Never mind. We gotta lose a Candy Man. Boy. Alright, let's portrait. Even if he doesn't. Okay, he doesn't. He does have Rare Candy Gallade. Which is interesting. Hmm, should we attach? Uh, yeah, no, it, nah, we don't need to. We don't need to attach. Whatever, we'll just... We gotta discard some important cards, but it's fine. And, okay, we get a Buffalo, we can put that down. We can level ball. We have a ton of supporters in our hand. We'll grab ourselves an Oddish. Let's see what's in the deck. Is, is our last Vile Plume in here? It is. Okay, so we don't gotta worry about not being able to get a Vile Plume in play. So it looks like... Uh, a couple of mute surprise. So it looks like we are going to be going for Tornadus. We don't have any energy, unfortunately, to use. So I think I'm just going to get rid of N and Pawn and play the Juniper again. And I guess we'll just get ourselves a Tornadus in play. So that we can, you know, have an attacker. We can, you know, bring out the Buffalon for Kaldeo. And then we got the Tornadus. So we'll pass. He's definitely going to get a Galley next turn, but it's Kaldeo stuck in the active. I can't remember what his hand was. I might even end him. I don't really want him to get a Gallade in play. So I think I'm actually going to play the end instead of the Juniper. I can keep one supporter. So I'm fine with that, actually. We'll go for the end. Go for that end. Hopefully we can pull out the Bob Plume. So he has an Aether, which... Okay, so we just played Blastoise. So we definitely got to go for Garb here, folks. So he will leave you light as active. So, you know, he's going to take a little less damage. It's going to actually be a three-shot with Tornadus. Okay, DC. He can actually knock me out if he gets a Water Energy. So I'm not actually not going to end him. Okay, there's another Tornadus. That's fine. I want to put the tornadoes is down so what do no energy again dude really wow we are missing the energy man jeez okay well we'll just get rid of these two guys and uh we're gonna have to grab gloom man we need to get energy down soon guys this ain't good the fact that we've whiffed so many energies is kind of upsetting so we have the junk on for the supporter, but again, that's cheating, so I'm not going to do that. Next turn, I'll probably just grab ourselves a... I'm probably just going to grab maybe the level ball. We'll see. We'll go for portrait, take a peek at his hand again. Yeah, he's got the bla He's got Blastoise in his hand. He definitely has a Gallade. No energy, though, so if we can survive the turn, I'm going to be happy. Because we got to buy some time. We got to set up some energy, folks. We got to get the energy in play. If this dude top decks a water energy, I'm going to cry. Okay. Looks like he didn't. But he's gonna get Gallade in play. He already put the DC on the Keldeo. Gallade again, you know what? Mewtwo's not in play, so it's not a big threat. If this guy got a water though, ooh, it's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly. This guy has a water energy in his hand. Okay, he doesn't good. Alright, top deck guards? Okay, there we go. There we go. So now nah, we'll attack well, if he brings out a bad thing afterwards. <sighs> We'll put that on Bufflon, I guess, whatever. Well, yeah, I think the energy going on Bufflon's fine. Game's being a little laggy here. Hopefully that doesn't keep up. Um, looks like it is! Don't know what's going on with uh, my internet today. Okay, come on, hurry it up, game, hurry it up. Okay, here we go. We'll Skyla, get rid of the Juniper. Yeah, we'll grab Juniper. And uh, we'll go Junk Arm, or if he knocks me out, we can put down the Drowsy instead, which wouldn't be bad, because we still have the Hypno in the deck. So, we'll take a peek at his hand, see what his other card is hand- Oh, and he has two Blastoise, wow. Okay. And we'll pass. 
and I mean, yeah, we'll go from there. Hopefully this lag goes away, though. I don't know what's going on, man, today with my internet. Well, let me actually, let me just go disconnect my phone. My phone is not even on, but apparently it's causing disruption for my Wi-Fi. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Hopefully, I, I don't want to get disconnected here, and it looks like that's going to happen, because this dude's timer is not ticking down. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on here. Um, okay, game, want to explain yourself? I don't know what happened there. Oh, no, he attached an energy, never mind. Never mind. I thought this dude, like, went his turn, and then he just immediately passed. Okay, we do get the bio plume. We got an eco arm. Can we get back? Alright, let me get back. We'll get rid of the candy. We're not gonna need that anymore. Uh, I want to put a spurshit in play though. That'd be cool. Come on, speed it up, game. I don't got all day. I wish I had a float in my discard so I could actually retreat the spear gold. That'd be great. But we can't do that. We're gonna have to wait for next turn to retreat, unfortunately. So we'll get rid of these two guys. Might as well just burn the items. We don't need them. Don't like discarding energy, but whatever. We got the garbage collection in the deck. Come on. Come on. Speed it up, game. Jeez, man. What oh, could not? Nah, that's cheating. No, we'll grab the, yeah, we gotta grab items here. I don't wanna be a douche and grab supporters, because that's cheating. Because you're not supposed to do that. So play the level ball, thin out the deck a little bit. Okay, you know what? My internet is just not being good today, dude. I don't know why it's been like this. It's been like this for the past few days. I need to call my internet provider. Oh, I'm just going to grab Trubbish. We still have, you know, a few supporters, so that's fine. We kind of are low on energy, which is uh, kind of scary. Like, we don't really need to get the Vile Plume play this turn anyways, to be honest. I mean, let's just do top decks like an item. Well, let's peek his hand. Oh, let's do Blastoise, obviously. We don't need the Vile Plume quite yet. I don't know what... I can't really top deck any items anyways, so... I, I mean, you could play Random Receiver, but I'd... I'd you know what? I'd rather wait a bit until I can get like a float or something like we top deck like a good support like float we can put the float on a retreat instead of having to waste an energy I don't really want to waste an energy here Charon okay remember we might get knocked out instead which I'm not going to complain about and then we gotta get the vile plume in play to shut down any rare candy shenanigans so there's a great ball he could get a uh, squirtle in play we'll see if he gets squirtle or not no he does get squirtle there you go he can't use blastoise because garb so we're definitely gonna have the vile plume in next turn we'll go for the vile plume next turn you know what we top deck an item whoop de do. whoop de do. we burned our junk arms we got rid of some other items so it's fine so we did get into water oh no so we will be able to knock us out with secret sword so can i get a rip in the chat for my boy smeargle but this is where the fun begins folks it's where the fun begins so we'll bring up the garb because why not hopefully my game is not gonna be laggy still because okay nice we can get that top deck i uh, should we play down the trubbish so good it's a free way to get energy back i guess i want to save the spot from youtube but whatever it's fine we'll play down aspersia we'll put a second energy on tornadoes okay yeah it looks like my internet is back to normal looks like my game's running smoothly and so let's go gold breaker for 120 damage or 100 damage but that does knock him out. He's going to have to retreat to save this Keldeo. And he's only going to hit me for 70. And then by that point, we got a Tornadus ready to go. So, Bouflant did its part in this matchup. And uh, we got the ultimate lock going. We got the Vile Plume. We got the Garb in play. So, there's no way he's going to be able to get rid of Garb. There's no way he's going to be able to get rid of Vile Plume unless this dude hammerheads. But he probably doesn't play that. We got the Aspersia City Gym. Plays. We got more HP. All is looking good, folks. All is looking good. I kind of want to see his hand, though. I know he has two Blastoise hand, but, I mean, if he has candy, he can't play anymore, because, pardon me, Vile Plume's down, so we're looking fine there. Now, just a Secret Sword for 70. And we're still going to survive 50 damage, and he actually won't be able to knock me out with that. We get a Psychic top deck, which is cool. Uh, spread that out, I guess. Why not? And uh, let's go for Gold Breaker for a knockout on this Keldeo. Let's see what we're going to get out of our prizes. I don't think I have any supporters in there, so I can't really say that. Rare candy, don't really want to see that, but we got the Mewtwo, so it's all gravy, baby. We got my boy Mewtwo. And what can my opponent do? If he gets a DCE top deck, he can knock out my Bufalon, but if not, Bufalon's going to survive, and we can put some damage on him. So just a Skyla. Okay, so we can grab a supporter. See, if the old Vile Plume was in play, there would be no supporters, but you know what? I couldn't make a video. I really wanted to make a video on this deck before, but it's like, nah. He got Rare Candy. What are you doing? 
Why would he grab her candy? He can't use that. Why wouldn't he grab a, like a Juniper or something? Or if he plays any. I am very confused right now. And he says Mad Face. Bro, you should have known. You can't even use the Blastoise because the Garp is in play. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why? Alright, let's go Gold Breaker. Hit him for 60. We aren't going to two-shot him, unfortunately. But hey, maybe we can retreat the Buffalon into the Tornadus. Buffalon's kind of served his purpose. <laughs> man, I feel bad. man. But y you couldn't even use Blastoise because the, the Garb is in play. So we're kind of just going to town. Might as well just keep the Gold Breaker up. Don't really need to do anything else. Can hold on to the energy in case, like, I don't know, anything could happen. I doubt we're going to see any Bright Whip Nine Tails shenanigans. He did get an energy, though. So he's going to be able to hit me for 40, but we're going to leave with 10 HP unless he gets rid of his first city gym, which could very well may happen. But I doubt he will. So let's just keep the gold breaker going. And we can one-shot Squirtle because I only got 6 HP. And there you go. We got that beatdown going down to the Oddish. Don't really need you anymore, buddy. Have we used up all our Junipers? I think we have, yeah. So all we got left is like our Pont, our Skyla. And I think we still have Chorus in the deck too. So it's all great. At this point, can my opponent win? Best you can do is try and get down something that can survive a few hits from tor Tornadus and Buffalon, which I doubt can happen. Just a water, and I don't know why he didn't put that on the bench, because we're going to knock him out. <laughs> he could have knocked me out if he put a water on his bench, but he didn't. There's our other Mewtwo. Okay, good. We're getting all the Mewtwo's boys. Kind of doing the work with Buffalon here, so I think I'm probably just going to retreat into Tornadus and win the game. Or not. Well, no slow roll, man. I ain't no slow rolling scum. So let's just hit him, knock him out, win the game. My opponent, man, I mean, that matchup could have went bad, you know, if Blastoise got going, you know, who knows, could have, could have went downhill. Because it's still confusing that Skyla play, like, even if he did get the Blastoise in play, he couldn't use his ability because the Garb was down, so. Okay, here we go, let's go find another match with our deck, why not? And, uh, you know, I don't know if we're gonna play against any more of those, like, decks that aren't actually competitive. Hopefully, maybe we can get one game in that's not a game against someone who doesn't really have a competitive legacy deck let's just hope let's pray let's see can we find a legacy match i know it's not the most populated format but uh it better be all right come on let's find a match here i gotta at least find one game that's competitive i don't want to like make this video just be a bunch of games where i just beat a bunch of decks that weren't really that competitive i mean hey it's free wins on the ladder i ain't complaining there but that doesn't make the video too entertaining so, we just gotta wait. Alright, there we go. We got a game. We got a game. What is it gonna be playing against? Another water deck. Alright, looks like Blastoise Keldeo just wants to come to me. Which, I'm still fine with this matchup because we still have our... We still have the Garb and the Vile Plume. So, it's like... It's still a really good match. Probably one of your better matchups, in all honesty. So, I'm not gonna complain. And we even win the Coin Flip, which is sweet. Playing... I actually kinda like that name. Catatil. That's like Aerodactyl, sort of. I don't know. Okay, we got a Tornado Star. That's fine. Probably gonna Ultra Ball and then go for end. Ultra Ball, probably gonna grab Trubbish. Garbodor is way more important than Vile Plume right now. So we'll see if he starts with anything. He probably plays Buffalon in his deck. That's probably what the colorless type is. So we'll see if it is gonna be Buffalon or not. Let's see what he starts with. Remarade? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go Ultra Ball, get rid of Skyla. Get rid of Ultra Ball, I guess. Why not? grab that trubbish let's see what's in the deck so our plumes are here everything looks to be in the deck just count the energy all right we all of our energy in the deck too sweet uh, looks like a few items are prized which i'm fine with so this could all go wrong if you get rid of both the dc and the flow that would suck but let's go for end do we find anything we kind of do we could grab smeargle i guess so we'll go level ball and we will get ourselves oddish do we need this smeargle might even just level ball next turn for uh, Gloom. Grab Smeargle, but I still kind of want to fill out the deck a little bit. I mean, we can still get a rare candy top deck, so I mean, we can go that route. So we'll grab the Smeargle, I guess. You know, just in case we can ever pull off Smeargle. I might even retreat next turn into Smeargle. I mean, I doubt it because we're still going to knock him out and stuff like that, but hey, I don't know. I don't know, but hopefully this dude can put up a fight. I really want to get a game where we're not going to beat down my opponent. But it looks like it's one of those games where, yeah, we are going to beat him down. So, rip in the chat, folks. Rip in the chat. I don't know. I don't even know what Octillery does. It's not Octillery with a Bissell hand. So, we know that for a fact, folks. It's going to do 10 damage. Oh, no. Not my Tornadoes. Anything but my Tornadoes. 
I guess Smeardle's pointless. He hasn't played a supporter. No, he has Silent, which wouldn't really have been good anyways, because if you know, we Silent for a bunch of energies, and then got screwed over. Silent only grabs basic energy, right? Yeah. I thought it would be cool to grab DCE. So we're going to hit with 10 damage. Rip. All right, top deck. What do we get? More energy. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Um, sure, let's just go for blow through instead of burning energy, I guess. Boom, blow through. Knock him out. We are going to take that damage. I don't think it matters. Um, but if he does get Blastoise, I really need to get Garb. Okay, Skyla. Good, 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 good. We can even get Vile Plume in play next turn, which I don't really want to do. Even though he stole the float on, I don't think it's that important. So I'm probably going to Skyla for Professor Oak's new theory. I could also, I guess we can grab Ultra Ball, I guess. I don't know. We still have an Ultra Ball left, so I mean, I guess we can get the Garb, but I'd rather get a Supporter. Depends on how this goes, though. It's not really doing much. Man, these beatdown games, man, they're just, they're not good. Alright, Kohler's for four, and before Rare Candy Blastoise happens, I'll laugh. I will laugh, or he gets a War Turtle. Polyway going down. See the War Turtle? He did actually get the War Turtle. Wow, I called it. Junk Arm. Mm -hmm. Nah, we'll go Skyla for Professor Oak's new theory. Let's do it. Grab that pot. Why not? Hopefully, if we top deck Rare Candy next turn, that'll be pretty nice. So, yeah, let's blow through, knock him out. We didn't even need the stadium in play. He was still knocking him out. And, I don't know. So, there's another Junk Arm. So, I guess we can Junk Arm for Junk Arm next turn. I don't really know what I need. I guess we can grab Level Ball. Uh, I don't know if we need to grab anything with that. Junk Arm for Ultra Ball would not be good. We'd basically lose our entire hand if we did that. We top deck another pawn. We didn't even need a Skyla, folks. Well, actually, technically we did because it shuffled our deck to actually top deck that, so. Let's go pawn. Do we get the Vile Plume and the Garb? Nope. But we do get the Mewtwo, so that's good. Put down the Mewtwo and the Tornadus. We can DCU, and then we can just blow through again. I mean, ain't too entertaining. I know. We're beating him down. I don't even know if I'll put this in the video, to be honest. There's a Rare Candy. If we can actually top deck Vile Plume here, we can play that Rare Candy immediately and get the Plume going. Interviewers questions. If this guy can't do anything, we win the game. So hopefully he can. These beatdown games, man, I don't know. I don't want to just have games we're playing against these type of decks that aren't really too competitive, but nah, it looks like that's the case, folks. It looks like that is going to be the case for this video. Um, obviously, I'm not going to end it here, though. I'm going to try at least find one more game. Ah, it's got to be something, though. I want to play, I want to have at least a good game where, like, my opponent can actually put up a decent fight. Kind of like that game in Gal against the Galilee Keldeo deck. But, you know what, it is still free wins for the ladder, which I can't complain. He didn't even have- oh, he doesn't even have Deluge. He doesn't even have Keldeo from the looks of it. So that was kind of rip. But, uh, okay. Free win for the ladder, though. Can't complain there. I do want to get those Sun and Moon packs. So I'm not going to buy any more Sun and Moon packs. I'm saving up my coins for Guardians Rising. So, there you go. But we'll find another game, please. Be something. Unless it's Verzian Genesec. No Verzian Genesec. No Brazilian selling me, Genesec. Please, no. <laughs> Anything but that. Anything but that. that. That's basically torture. If you want to torture me, make me play against Brazilian Celebi, Genesec, all day in Legacy. <laughs> Gotta find a game. It's taking forever. I don't know. Legacy ain't that popular. I don't know. Maybe it's my win loss rate so low. I doubt it, though. I played testing last night. I was playing SP on Wild last night. It was going fine. So, come on. Let's find a match. I mean, there's gotta be some people in Legacy, man. It's not gonna be that unpopulated. Okay, there we go. We find a match. Okay, there we go. Ray Eels. Finally a game. There we go. In before this dude is and I'm just playing Ray Eels. He's even got that Pikachu coin. This is another matchup where it's like, we get the Garb and we get the Vile and play. It's over. You can one-shot one -shot us with Rayquaza, though. We lose the coin flip, though. Come on. <sighs> Those little coin flip losers are so annoying. Hmm, we got a Mulligan, too. Which is super bad because I don't want to give him more cards. I don't want to get him like a good hand. So hopefully we don't mulligan anymore. We do play a lot of Pokemon. Okay, there we go. Tornadus and an Oddish Star. That's fine. Our hand's okay, I guess. We can probably grab Smeargle and maybe retreat if he does play Sky or Bridge. He probably does. So hopefully this dude has a dead start. Let's find out. Please be a dead start. Tynamo. We can knock it out if we get a DC and somehow get a Stadium. But if not, rip. I'm probably going to have to retreat into Smeargle. I really need. Unless this dude plays Skyward Bridge. So there's a random receiver. Let's see. What supporter he gets? N. Oh, it looks like he's ending me. I like this hand. We ought, we could have had the Vile Plume on turn two, but we are going to hit with N. But you know what? If we get an even better hand, I ain't going to complain. And before, our hand is just a bunch of useless cards. <sighs> no, it isn't. Okay, good. We can actually do a lot with this hand. So there's Rayquaza. There's Tynamo. 
We can take a knock on Tynamo this turn, which I'm gonna do, unless this guy grabs, like, Keldeo. Might grab Smeargle. I don't know if he plays it or not, though. No, Keldeo, okay. So he is gonna go for the Keldeo play, so... Whatever. We can still attack Keldeo, I guess, not the end of the world. He does have... Does he have Lightning in there? Yeah, he has one. Okay. Here we go. What do we top deck? Pont. We're gonna have to go Juniper here, folks, so... That's our plan. We'll level ball, grab ourselves Trubba Bubba Bish. It looks like one Trubbish is prized. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see the energy. Alright, we still got one DC prize, that's fine. So, grab ourselves Trubbish, and we'll have the Juniper here. We gotta dig harder, so let's go, Juni. Gotta lose a candy, but whatever. Maybe we can get Gloom down this turn. Alright, there's a Mewtwo. We can pull off a Vileplume next turn, which is nice to know. So, we'll go for Blow Through for 30. Hopefully this guy can't knock me out. Hopefully that last card in his hand is a dead card. Let's find out. Let's find out if this dude has a dead hand. It looks like he does. Sweet. That gives us a lot of time to do stuff. So we'll start going for blow through. I guess we'll just grab Garb. I don't want to end him though, but I also don't want to do that junk arm glitch because that junk arm glitch is not fun. It's not cool, folks. Don't do junk arm glitch. If you do, you're a scumbag. So grab Garb. And I mean, we can grab level ball, I guess. Do we need to? Grab, uh, I want to hold on to the end. And I guess this Power Blast. Hopefully we don't discard this energy. If we do, we can still... No, okay. We don't. Good. This dude top decks on the Anoxa. I'm kind of worried. If he gets Tool Scrapper, that could actually be pretty bothersome too. We can still Junk Arm for it back. Okay, he's going for Junk Arm. Is he actually going to go Junk Arm for end? Please don't do the glitch. Okay, random receiver. Nice. He's playing fair. If he did the glitch, <laughs> it would have been on film. So he would have been exposed. And okay, fine, end me. That's cool. It's just better than Juniper, because it's not as bad as Juniper, because Juniper would have been bad. So hold, here we go. He won't be able to do anything because the garbs in play. Let's see, what do we get? Mm, nothing. I get now we can go for Vileplume. We got the Vileplume play, folks. It's all good. We Vileplume. Unless this dude tool scrappers me. If he tool scrappers me, that Vileplume garb block ain't happening. Okay, good. We got the Vileplume. Let's go. And a Juniper top deck. Wow. That could not have been any better. Gotta lose some energy, which, you know, kind of sucks, but it's for a good cause, man. It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. We do the rare candy in there, right? I'm not hallucinating. All right, I'm not. Let's go. Vileplume. Vileplume is in play, folks. Gotta lose a couple energy, but it's all good. We got ourselves the candy plume, and if even if I can get, like, a, a stadium down, we don't have to use power, whatever. There we go. Boom. The ultimate lock is down, and he can save the game. <laughs> this deck is too good for people. Oh, we got 100 coins. Dude, I've gotten so many coins today. Did this guy have Smeagol in his deck? That's the question. Looks like he didn't. He has Max Potion. That's actually kind of interesting. Wow, we got the ultimate lock going, folks. We did it. We pulled it off. So I guess we'll end off the video here. You know, we still showed off how deadly the combo can be with Vileplume and Garb. And we still gave people a beatdown. So I guess it worked out in the end. We didn't really have any games where we didn't pull off any cool combos. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for PTO content. Sorry these games weren't too competitive, I guess. I don't know, not a lot of people, there's some people in Legacy who don't really have the competitive decks, so there you go, so thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our PCO content, hit the road, or no, hit the road, what the heck am I saying, just don't forget to help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers, and my channel growth has been kind of bad in views, I mean not views, uh, subscribers recently, like literally, my sub growth has been abysmal, I have not gotten over 1,340 subscribers at all, like, I get to 1,000, and then I lose like 2 subs, and then I can't, I haven't gotten over that at all so hopefully that stops very soon i don't know what's going on my views are doing great right now but my subscriber growth is doing bad whatever anyways can we hit 25 likes in this video new like goal thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the pco video peace out